Bug effort. It's a very, very quick start and it paid off with 3.0 at Stevenage today. I suppose start, you're delighted with that. Yeah, uh, yeah. the start was, was great, um, similar to the first game of the season, but we obviously wanted to handle the rest of the half better than we did back then and we certainly did that. I thought we were... I thought we were exceptional today. I thought the, the players um, took on what we wanted to do. I thought they um, they passed the ball really well. They were brave. They they kept the ball at the right times and played forward at the right times. Their energy was excellent, and um, we we should have scored more. Well, I wish we had of because you know it's a bit nervous towards the last five ten minutes. You know when you're hitting the crossbar, keep making saves, balls being cleared off the line, and um, it only takes you know one second to concede, but. I thought to a man that the, the squad were fantastic today and I um, uh, thoroughly deserved three points. And are you pleased to see, you mentioned the first game there, that lessons have been learnt and that you know we didn't really relinquish too much control and it's just that second goal didn't come. Are you pleased to see the learning and improvement there? Yeah, I th look, look, that's, that's football, isn't it? You know, you, you, you let yourself down or you make a mistake and you, you learn for the next experience and if you if you're intelligent and you and you uh, you're conscientious about your job, I think you put it right the next time. And I, I think we did that today. So, every credit to the players. I thought they, um, I think they were well aware of scoring early and not doing the same as before and taking a step back. And, and we certainly didn't do that. You know, we we could have had um, a couple of more goals in the first half and, and a couple more in the second. But um, you know, Stephen has had a, a fantastic win here at home in their last game and uh, so you, you've got to pay respect to the quality they have in the attacking phases but I thought um, we controlled the ball really well, our shape was excellent and um, when we had to adjust I thought the, the subs came on and, and um, sort of you know, enhanced the, the performance so um, delighted with every single one today because it was um, a, a real good three points, uh, another clean sheet um, and hopefully we saved a couple of goals for, for next week. Three clean sheets in a row for the first time in the EFL, uh, in league games that is. It's a nice achievement to achieve now. Um, well, it's, a, it's a mark point, you know, we talk about the um, both sides of the game, both defensively and, and the quality we have in the attacking phases and um, we know we've got the talent to score goals. Um, I think that was evident today even though we only got the one. Um, but you know, you, you don't win anything without being hard to beat and, and, having, and keeping clean sheets. And, and to be fair, I think um, Vass made one very good save in the first half. But apart from that, he's, he's had to clean up a few crosses and, and a couple of through balls. But you know, thankfully, we haven't had to use him as much as we have done in, in the last few games. So um, yeah, I, I was just really, really pleased with every player um, this week. And obviously, topping it off with a good win is um, the best way. Nash is Hamilton Week's second goal this week. Is he enjoying? His role moving across that attacking midfield area. Well, I think Ash has, has the quality to play in numerous positions. You know, I think that's and he has done that for us since, since he's been here, and you know, that's why we were determined to bring him back in the summer. I think um, you know, you know, his uh, his goal threat, his his finishing is is exceptional. He was he was close with the the chip as well just after it. Um, set piece deliveries. He's, he's got great energy, good, good abilities, but he's adaptable. And, and we've got a few players like that, which is important. You know, when you're going into into games that you can um, change your team around uh, mid-game and uh, keep the performance. And you know, Lowy going to right back. You know, Ash uh, dropping back into midfield after playing up front. You know, this is this is good to see from the players. And um, you know, every credit. And just finally from me, uh, you said about uh, players coming back and we saw Gibbo come back in today, Richard come back in. Yeah. Are you pleased to get 90 minutes out of them? Yeah, it was um, a bit of a gamble really. But, you know, they, uh, they came back in training on Thursday and um, we, uh, we only had two session, sessions with them Thursday and Friday and, and we left the team until today because we wanted to see how they responded to the training, you know, whether they, were, they felt fit enough to go and play 90 minutes. But, um, you know, I think you have to look at their professionalism and how they looked after themselves while they were off field. Uh, they've come back in. I think they'll feel the fatigue tomorrow. But um, I, I thought, you know, considering they've been off for, for 10 days or, or so, coming back in and performing like that is, is um, they, they deserve a pat on the back. But, you know, they obviously came into a, a team that's playing well and, and uh, good players around them. But, yeah, delighted for them because it, it was a little bit of a gamble, to be honest. But, um, I had uh, confidence in how they look after themselves and how they're going to approach the game.